in this program we are discussing the concept of dynamic constructor dynamic constructor can be used to initialize or allocate the memory space for the data members by using new keyword by using new keyword we can allocate different size to the data members so for that purpose we are creating a class which is named as numbers in that we are writing two data members one is n another one is a pointer variable x both are of integer type n is used to represent the total numbers and x is used to store an array of numbers so in this program we need to find the sum of all the values which are present in the array x we are creating a constructor now this is a dynamic constructor it takes two parameters a is an array and tot is the total value the total value we store inside our data member n now depending on the size of n we have to allocate the memory space for the variable x the data member x size depends upon the value of n so we use new keyword so x equals new int of n by using a for loop so the for loop ranges from 0 to n minus 1 and all the value of a of i gets stored into x of i. Now we are also including a destructor. Destructor needs to start with a till symbol and the name of the destructor should be same as the class name. And this destructor is used to deallocate the memory which we have allocated for the variable x that can be done by using delete keyword. So delete x will deallocate the memory which is allocated for the variable x. We are including one member function which is find sum. And the return data type of find sum is integer. So first we are initializing the sum variable as 0 and by using a for loop we find out the sum. Each value of x we keep on adding into the sum variable and return the sum value from the function. Now in the main method we are creating an array variable a1 and with initialized value we have five values so the size of now the total number of values which are present in a1 is 5 which can be even calculated by using size of size of a1 the total array divided by size of one element a1 of 0 the size of a1 of 0 and when now we are creating an object for numbers class n1 with two values first one is an array a1 and the second one is a length and after that we are calling find sum method which can be used to find the sum of values which are present in the array a1 so we are calling n1.find sum which will keep the sum of values present in the array a1 similar to this we can create one more object here we are creating another object which is named as n2 with different array values is created by using our dynamic constructor so dynamic constructor we can see at the first time the size of x is 5 and the second time the size of x is 3 which is created by using new operator which can be used to allocate the memory for the variable x depending on the value of n. If you are able to execute the program, kindly comment below.